Hey everybody, this is Stephanie, and this is my intro. I'm about to do four videos. I'm going to take you through um, skincare, foundation, after foundation, and color application. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Stephanie. So, yesterday I did my foundation routine, and today I'm going to do the uh, basics for my color application, or... I don't really know how to say that. Not the color application, like not the eyeshadow, but the things, the rest of the things that I need to make the base of the face. So basically, my brows, my bronzing, um, and curling my eyelashes, and then everything after that would be color application. So um, I would start with my brows. Uh, I'm using today a Sephora pencil in 207. It's a small brown pencil. I have several pencils that I bounce between. My favorite, I think, is the Rimmel in Hazel. I've been using that for years, and I really quite like it. I don't have to do a lot to my brows. Um, pluck outliers. I don't have to get them waxed or anything like that. I just have to kind of fill them in and darken it up a little bit. So once I get them drawn on, I brush them out a little bit, make sure that the color has been evenly applied and that the hairs are all going the right way. And then I apply a little bit of um, gel. This is from Revlon. I had the e.l.f. one previously, and I did not like that at all. It was only a dollar, but I don't really recommend it at all. So, drop my spoolie, excuse me. There we go. So now that the gel's in there, I'll just go back in and touch it up a little bit. And if I had any outliers, which I might, I would go in and pluck them now or before. I just find it easier to see them after the rest of my brows are done and in their place. I like the uh, Revlon tweezers. Okay, next I'm going to bronze. I'm really fair complected, so I have a hard time with bronzers. Um, I can't like the Chocolate Soleil and the Chanel one that everybody else uses. Those are just way too dark for me. Um, and I don't have a lot of definition on my face anyways, so I have to be really careful with my bronzer. If I put too much bronzer on it, it just look like a line. It looks dirty and it doesn't look good. Um, so right now, I found one that I kind of like. It's the Wet n Wild Everything Under the Sun. So that's really affordable. It was in their summer collection. I don't know if it's still available. And I'm really liking to bronze with the Sigma F84, um, the angled kabuki. So I just swirl that. I mean, it's mixed colors. I just swirl it around. And so... Then take it in my hairline. And then it's really important to me to get a nice one underneath my chin. I, you know, obviously I have a little bit of extra excess baggage down there. And if I can hide it with a shadow, then I will. But you have to make sure you blend it really well, which is one of the good things about this brush. I used to use a really fluffy brush uh, for applying my bronzer, but I found that this one, I can, I just like it a little bit better. So my nose is crooked. It bumps out a little bit over here. So I can also take a little bit of bronzer and just kind of press it on the side of my nose. And sometimes that'll help narrow it. Okay, so that's my bronzing for today. And then the last thing I do before all my color application is to curl my lashes. Um, I have this new heated curler from Adele. You hold, I just got it in my stocking. You hold it down and you can 
Can you see that the light changed to green? Yeah, I think you can see that. So that means that it heats up a little bit. And I am undecided on whether or not I really like this thing. You can see in the little lip that it pushes your lashes kind of into an odd shape. Whoops. Of course, that's not the part that's heated. The part that's heated is the pink coil underneath it. Now, I specifically asked for this in my stocking. And I think I like it. Did I say Adele? It's Ardell. But I love Adele, too. So if you don't have that, you should definitely get it. So I guess that's enough curling for today. Okay, so does that look any different from the before? I don't know. Probably not. Um, the last thing that I'll do before my color application is apply some pale yellow MAC Pencil Coal to my waterline. Now, I don't like a dark waterline, at least not during the day. I find that it really makes my eyes a lot smaller. But this tends to make my eyes pop a little bit more. So I don't use a lot, but I'll put it in my inner corner. There we go. Just during the day makes them stand out a little bit more. So tomorrow, color.